10 NFL picks. Toilet Bowl game of the week. I don't know when they made the schedule where anybody thought this was going to be a good game. But Chicago Bears giving three and a half to Carolina. I like Carolina just because. Because we all know that uh, Justin Fields ain't the answer. And uh, yeah, like I said, obviously this game don't mean nothing. But give me the Panthers. Another game in Germany. Colts giving one and a half to the Patriots. Give me the Colts. Patriots are done. Mac Jones is done. Baltimore. This is going to be a good game right here. Giving six to the Cleveland Browns. Seems to me like the Browns always play the Ravens close. Kind of like we do. But the Ravens are at home. They've already beaten the Browns once. I understand that was with a backup quarterback. But... It's going to be close. Ravens are going to win, though. Pittsburgh Steelers giving three to Green Bay. I don't understand this because Green Bay is not good at all. Give me the Steelers all day long. San Francisco giving three at Jacksonville. San Fran, if I'm San Fran, this is a must win. A must win. And honestly, I was going to take the Jaguars, but... Because this is a must win for San Fran and everything is on the line, I think San Fran's going to get it done. And Jacksonville obviously can afford a loss right now. So, I like the 49ers. New Orleans giving three at Minnesota. I like Minnesota still. I picked them last week and they won. And I'm picking them again this week. Because, like I said, Josh Dobbs is... Probably the most underrated quarterback in the league right now. Cincinnati, here we go. Cincinnati Bengals giving seven to the Texans. C.J. Stroud is the real deal, obviously. The Texans are the real deal, going from the worst team in the league to potentially a playoff team in the, in the next year. That's pretty impressive. So, obviously I'm taking my Bengals, but... I am not overlooking the Texans one bit. Tampa Bay, giving one to Tennessee. I'll take uh, Tampa Bay, whatever. This is one of them games no one cares. Detroit Lions giving three to the Chargers. Chargers got a much-needed win last week, but I like the Lions on the road. People are probably looking at me like I'm crazy, but I think the Lions are a way better team. Atlanta Falcons giving one and a half to the Cardinals. Come on, man. Arizona's garbage. Even a team like Atlanta is going to rob this team. Take the uh, Falcons. Cardinals are they're going for a draft pick at this point. Dallas, here we go. Check this out. Dallas Cowboys giving 16 and a half to the Giants. Guess what? Cowboys will cover. Because the Giants are flat out terrible. And the Cowboys already rocked them 40 to nothing on opening week. So, yeah. Cowboys will kick, especially after the Cowboys lost to Philly, they're going to be pissed. They're going to kick the crap out of the Giants. Seattle Seahawks giving six to the Commanders. Give me the Seahawks. They will recover after that brutal loss they took at the hands of the Baltimore Ravens. And, uh, yeah, I like them at home. Sunday night, the New York Jets giving one to the Raiders. You know, this is a tough matchup. Because doesn't it seem like the Raiders are way worse than four and five? It just seems like it. But, given off what I said about Zach Wilson, I am taking the Raiders in this game. Probably will regret that decision, but I like the Raiders. And finally, Monday night, my God, there ain't many good games this week. Buffalo Bills given seven and a half to the Broncos. Another team, in my opinion, Buffalo, it's a must win. And they're at home. They will recover. And uh, I know Denver's on a couple game winning streak. They beat the Chiefs, yada, yada, yada. But 
The Bills are in a must-win situation, and they know it. They will win. God, I went through the picks today a little fast. Sorry about that, but that's just, it's kind of a bland week in football. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, look at the Thursday night game and look at the Sunday and Monday night game. I mean, really, honestly, it's like, ugh. But anyways, hope you guys have a good week, and we will catch you soon.